Philip Golding claimed his second senior European Tour win of the season as he took advantage of a remarkable final day collapse from Clark Dennis at the Travis Perkins Masters. Travis Perkins Masters Dennis led by three overpass at Woburn and appeared set to run away with the title after he birdied four of the first five holes to extended his advantage to seven shots, but he then littered his card with three double bogeys and two bogeys in a disastrous nine-hole run. The American's misfortune opened the door for Golding, who still trailed by one with three holes, to play until a three-shot swing at the 16th put the Englishman in pole position as he holed a great putt for his fourth birdie of the day as Dennis ran up a six. Golding then held his nerve to par the final two holes to close out a 70 and post a score of 5 under par, and that proved enough for victory as a deflated Dennis also parred 17 and 18 to sign for a disappointing 75 and slip into a share of second with Brendan McGovern. I'm a little bit in shock, said Golding. I've been around long enough to know to keep plugging away and grind it out. I said to my caddy that I was playing for second spot after seeing Clark was five or six ahead of me after five holes, but Paul told me to keep going. You never want to see what happened to Clark, but he's a good player. He has been up there three or four times, and I'm sure he'll cross the line soon. Golding's fourth career victory among the senior ranks lifts him to fourth in the order of merit, and he is already looking forward to returning to France in a fortnight for the Paris Legends Championship at Le Golf National, where he won his only European Tour title in the Open de France in 2003. We go to Italy next week, which is a great course, he added. But there are just a couple of weeks to go until we are back in Paris, which I can't wait for. September 5th. 2017, 10 p.m. Live on McGovern birdied the last to salvage a 72 which secured his best result of the year, while Chris Williams, Magnus Atlevy and Peter Fowler were the only other players to finish under par for the tournament. Former Masters champion Ian Woosnam had got himself back to one under when he atoned for a poor start with birdies at the 9th and 11th, but he bogeyed three of the last four holes to end up seven adrift of Golding, 